All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the wild man's wild friends. This one happens to be a type of praying mantis. Now, a lot of the mantises I've seen down here in Arkansas have been green. Some have been bigger, some have been uh, smaller, but this one you can see is kind of a, a bark colored. And that suits it pretty well because when I found it, it was down on a tree. I was chopping up with a chainsaw and uh, all of a sudden this one ran, off my, ran up my pant leg. So that was pretty cool. Now mantises are an interesting type of insect. Um, there's more than 2,000 varieties around the world. And uh, they're an ambush predator. So what they like to do is to sit still, to blend in with the environment, and to sit there. Now they have these front forelegs, which have a little foot. But they also have these little hooks on them, which are uh, kind of raptor-like. And they'll sit there with their two... Uh, Four legs up by their face, kind of, and that's where they get the name praying from because it looks like they are got their hands together praying. But they got those hooks there, and when something comes close enough, it'll actually just sink those hooks into it and, uh, and give it a, a good bite. The first one I found was down in Kentucky, and um, my sister-in-law was looking out a uh, hotel window down about two stories, and she goes, Oh, what is that? And I said, what is what? And she goes, some thing just landed on a vehicle. And I said, dang, like, what is it, like a praying mantis? I looked out the window, and sure enough, it was a big green about four-inch praying mantis. I ran down two flights of stairs, ran out to this nice red car, grabbed it right back here, and the first thing that happened is the front spun around, and whoosh, two big old hooks went down in my, uh, <laughs> right down in my finger, which uh, I thought, ha-ha, now it's going to be harder for you to get away. So uh, one thing that happens, too, is... Uh, these ones, much like a black widow spider, they'll actually, uh, the female will often eat the male after mating. And uh, mantises are one of the most uh, commonly kept insects as pets. Um, some people think with their little triangle heads and as kind of observant, as aware, as interesting as they are, that they're kind of, uh, remind them of aliens and stuff. And uh, they're a lot of fun. I can see why people uh, have them as pets. Then you can also order them online. And he's keeping his eyes trained on me right now. I'm trying to get it to face the camera, but we're not able to do that so well right now. It wants to keep an eye on me because it knows I'm sitting here interacting with it. But, uh, yeah, you can actually order the eggs online to uh, use as, like, organic, uh, you know, garden pest control. Uh, we definitely release a lot of them in our garden um, whenever we find them. And uh, I always had a lot of fun playing with them. Like I said, the first one I ever found was down in uh, Kentucky, then I found a couple in Texas. And I'm not sure if I ever did find one in Wisconsin, but they're mostly going to inhabit the tropics. And uh, there are some too, they kind of head in more temperate areas, but they're mostly a tropical type, uh, type insect. And if you guys have been on Steemit for a while, uh, you've probably seen at least a couple posts featuring them. There's definitely been a lot of them that I've been able to see in my time. So... That's about it. Like I said, they most, mostly live for about a year or two. Uh, some will be born in spring, grow up, mate, and fall, lay the eggs for the next year, that type of thing, too. And uh, he's cleaning his hands right now. Why don't you take a look at the people quick? You want to take a look at the people? Say hi to them. Say bye to them. All right. Pop out.